Hi, my name is Alessandra Pais, and I will be doing the blood administration skills video today. I'm going to start by entering my patient's room and identifying myself by saying, Hi, my name is Ali. I'm going to be the nurse. I am then going to verify my patient using two patient identifiers and shut the door and the curtain to provide privacy. Once I've done that, I'm going to perform hand hygiene and I'm going to start by verifying my blood or verifying the order. So I'm going to make sure that I verified my patient using name and date of birth, and then I'm going to make sure that I have the signed consent and the requisition form and the compatibility. I'm then going to verify with another nurse um, the label of the blood for the patient's name, um, the ID number, the blood type, and the RH type. So this is O negative, RH negative. So I verified my blood type, um, the RH factor, the expiration date, and the blood donor's number, um, so it's a volunteer donor. Once I've done that, I can set this aside. I'm going to start by performing hand hygiene, so I would wash my hands with soap and water, and then I'm going to put on some clean gloves here. I've got my clean gloves on. Now that I've got clean gloves, I'm going to make sure that I have the current tubing, and I want the tubing to have a filter on it, and if it doesn't have a filter, I'm going to get a filter. So once I've done that, I'm going to make sure all the clamps on my tubing are closed, so nothing can go through them. I've got my third clamp here, make sure that's rolled closed. So I've got my tubing closed. I'm going to um, get my normal saline and I'm going to spike it using um, a separate technique. So I'm going to take my cap off here and spike my bag. So all my clamps are shut. I'm going to hang this on an IV pole that is at least 39 inches above the patient. So once I've done that, I can open the top clamp here. And I'm going to make sure that um, it flows into this chamber. And I'm going to squeeze it till the chamber is full. So it's slowly filling this chamber. And I want to make sure that it is covering. I want to make sure that the saline is covering the filter, as you can see here. Now that that's covering the filter, we can prime our tubing. So I'm going to start by putting this over a trash can, taking the lid off and making sure that I don't touch the end of this or the inside of the lid. So I'm going to set this down right there, and I'm going to open this clamp to make sure that we get flow. So, pull this down so you can see. That flow. So once I've primed my tubing, I'm going to clamp this back up so that it's stopped. And I'm going to put my cap back on. Make sure that it stayed clean. I'm going to then hook it up to the patient's IV. I'm going to make sure first before that I have this prime, I'm going to tap this filter and make sure all the air is out of there. There's no air. Um, once I've done that and my tubing is primed, I can then connect it to the patient. Um, so I'm going to take my alcohol wipe and I'm going to clean um, my patient's IV site here, or J loop. And I'm going to make sure that there's no other um, infusions running on this patient. So I know there's no other infusions running on my patient. I've made sure that the J loop is clean here, and then I can um, connect it to my patient. I'll take the cap off. I'm going to connect this to my patient. So once I've connected it to my patient, I can then open um, the clamps. 
So I've opened my clamps and it is flowing into the patient. Um, this clamps up. And then the one for the blood is still clamped closed. So once I've done that, I'm gonna get my blood and I'm gonna make sure that the flow rate is right on the saline. And I'm gonna get my blood and I'm not gonna shake it. I'm just gonna invert it so that I mix the plasma and I mix the cells, the cells. <laughs> um, once I've done that, I can then go ahead and um, spike my blood bag with this spike, making sure that I see this is a separate technique. So I'm gonna use my other fingers and then I'm gonna spike my bag. So once I have done that, I'm going to um, hang this on my IV pole. And then once I've hung it on the IV pole with the saline, I can then go ahead and um, open this clamp by the blood bag. So we're gonna see that um, I've opened this clamp and I'm gonna close the saline clamp. So once I've closed that saline clamp, the um, blood should start going in to this chamber. So the blood is slowly and we're going to make sure that the blood in, goes all the way down the tubing and into the patient. So right now we've got our saline closed and our blood open. And I'm going to make sure that I want to go all the way to the patient. Probably can put my patient lower. So we we made sure that um, the blood is all the way down to the patient, and it's continuing to flow all the way down to the patient. Like so. So the blood has flown all the way down to the patient. So once I've done that, and I've made sure that the flow rate is right, I'm gonna stay with my patient, oxy patient here, and I'm gonna stay with the patient for 15 minutes and I'm gonna make sure that I am monitoring for any adverse effects. Adverse effects would include um, tachycardia, chills, rash, fever, nausea, and vomiting. Well, after that 15 minutes, then I will make sure to document that um, I have started the infusion of the blood. I'm going to remove my gloves and um, perform hand hygiene.